everybody, welcome to Live Free and Tool On. Today we're going to be talking about the mini bike. Specifically, we're going to be putting a headlight. Not just a headlight, we're actually going to be putting a LED light bar on this and an LED tail light. You can't really get electricity easily from this four stroke engine. So I took a trip over to Harbor Freight and I picked up this eight inch LED light. This wasn't too bad. I think I got it for $35. So it, was, it really didn't break the bank. Uh, then I knew that this was going to work. But it's going to have to take a, it's going to take a little bit of fabrication. Um, so they actually didn't sell the electrical parts. So I took a drive over to Walmart, and that's when I got the switch. Um, then I'm actually going to put an inline fuse on this as well to protect it. Now I really had to find out how I was going to get power to this, and I tell you what, this is how I'm going to get power to it. This is just a typical power adapter. This is DC voltage, and I'm going to be using the Ryobi uh, typical batteries. This is a lithium ion. They snap right on, they lock in place, I get power out of here, no problem. Now that begs the question, how am I going to mount this to uh, the bike itself? I'm actually going to be using some typical perforated angled steel. This is my old steel, I'm just going to create a bracket and I'm going to weld it to the bike. And that's exactly how I'm going to weld, or that's exactly how I'm going to mount the light to the bike as well. I'm going to cut these tabs, I'm going to make them fit, and uh, we're going to weld that on there to make sure it's, it's nice and secure. You don't want to drill through the tubular steel that's the handlebars because you can weaken it and if you hit a bump you could really uh, you know, cause some damage or bend it down and you know, cause an accident. So I don't want to do that so I'm going to weld this up. And then for the switch, uh, I'm not going to put it in a typical place either. Uh, we're going to weld that up so you'll see when we get there. Alright, so I want the light bar to be up here. I want to mount it just like this here and this looks pretty, pretty perfect right here. Um, and it's going to go right over the cable, it's going to mount it down. So what I want to do first is I want to go ahead and clean this area off. Uh, we're going to clean, we're going to take off these brackets here. We're going to clean these as well. And then, uh, you know, then we're just going to weld it straight up. All right, so there you go. They're all cleaned up. Uh, Going to get ready to weld here. Um, I just want to point out one thing: always have your eyes. You know, protect your hands. Uh, don't take the risk. You don't want to lose your vision for the rest of your life over a stupid little mistake or just being lazy. Okay, so I put it all back on here. I mounted it up, and uh, this is just a dry fitment here. But let's see how it works. Push the wires back a little bit. Okay, so everything's falling into place. Uh, everything's right where I need it and right where I want it to be right here. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do, we're actually going to leave the light on because when you weld this, you need to make sure it's actually going to fit after. So don't do all the measuring. Uh, just make sure you do your fitments with the light on. Tack it in place, get everything there. mounted in place I can actually take this off you know once it cools here so it doesn't warp um, I'll just show you what the weld looks like it's pretty simple pretty simple stuff okay so you can see the weld it's pretty simple I'll try and clean it up here it's a MIG weld so it doesn't really need much cleaning so you can see it's just straight down the line um, pretty easy stuff it's never gonna move okay so now we need to make the decision where we're gonna put this little switch here. Um, you know, a lot of people put it down here. The problem is, is that there's stops, but this will hit the bar. So you're going to have some interfering if I put that in there. I think this is really just if you want to put a front carriage on here to carry stuff. So what I'm thinking that I would like to do is I would like to mount it right here. You know, something just like that. And how this works is this threads off. This is a nut. So the big square piece down here, which is the actual switch, um, that's going to sit underneath a piece of steel. And I just want it to sit right here so it's local, it's easy, it's out of the way. Um, so I'm going to take some basic stock flat 
uh, flat stock. I'm going to uh, trim it up, bend it, and uh, we'll just weld it right here and make sure that that's going to work out just fine. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to go ahead and mark. I want to drill this out while I have a lot of uh, sturdiness here, a good solid base. How I'm going to do that, I'm going to use a stepper bit. Uh, this is really awesome. Uh, I got this, this is Hercules. I got it from Harbor Freight and it works superb. So let's go ahead. We're going to step this up, make sure we can get the right size. I'm going to draw it a little over to one side because I'm thinking I'm going to have to cut this down. It may be a little too wide here. So let me get my safety glasses on and we'll get started. All right, so one more step and we'll be there. See how fast that was? Jeez, man, this thing is awesome. Okay, perfect, we're here. Fits right inside. Alright, so we need to cut the uh, bracket for the tail light right now. I'll show you what that looks like once we actually attach it, but um, I know where I need to cut here. Let's just go ahead and get that done really quick, and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's the tail light that I'm going to use here, um, and this is just a bracket. It was a uh, 90 degree L bracket, but I did spread it out a little bit to 45 degrees, and you can see what I'm going to do here, I'm going to tack it and I'm going to weld it here. Is this actually will bolt directly to this and the holes line up just like that. So I'll have a tail light here. It does have a red uh, cover on it too. So now before we get too far into this, we actually need to take a look at the uh, <coughs> battery mounting position and uh, where we're actually going to put that. So let's take a look up front. What I would like to do for accessory or, uh, you know, to have good access purposes is I'd like to put it right here and mount it right there now I do have you know a few cables here I can reroute those just a little bit I can put them you know up here so it's not really going to make too much of a difference um, but I'd like to put it right here uh, we're far away uh, enough from everything we're really not going to make a difference but this is <coughs> I think this is going to be a great mounting position uh, so in, in order for me to do this and I don't have a lot of heat coming off the exhaust, so I want to keep this battery away from the heat. So it's going to be mounted right into the uh, front here. So we'll create the cradle for this, and we really shouldn't have any issues. All right, so what we need to do first, we need to go ahead and start welding up this little crib that I made. I'm going to weld it on the back. Uh, we're going to work the metal on the sides. We're going to tack it all up around there. Then once we have this in place, uh, we're going to weld it to the bike. Um, and then we'll weld the rest of the mounts to the back as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I got the crib all welded up right here on the back, the sides. We're going to stick it right here. I'm going to weld it right here. So uh, we're just going to get started here. We're going to go through the rest of them. So hang tight. Let's start rolling.
So everything is mounted up now. What I'm going to do is actually just go ahead and hit it with a little bit of enamel to protect it, protect the welds. Um, so we're just going to put a little bit of cardboard back here, try and block any unnecessary overspray. There we go. Make sure it's uh, nice and protected and then I'll let it dry for a little bit and then I'll go ahead and mount everything up here. Alright, so I've decided I'm going to make this uh, pretty simple. We have our power wire, we have our ground wire here and uh, what I'm going to do with these is, uh, is I'm going to tie a splitter onto the power and I'm going to split power between the headlight and the tail light and I'm just going to use uh, basic connections. So I'll do a close up so you can see this pretty well. Uh, so how the splitter works is we have a male on this end. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. I'm going to put the wire in. Make sure it gets the right distance. I'm just going to crimp it down. That's locked in place now. Uh, now we're going to take this is the splitter that I use. Right here it's going to be hard to see. You can see that so that actually goes on the end. So this goes in the middle and it locks in. Just like so. Okay, so that's locked in. It actually has indentions here, a hole there, so it's not going to go anywhere. Um, I have to split. I have to do the same thing here. So again, we'll get this ready. Insert the wire. Make sure it's all the way in there. And we'll squeeze. Okay, so that's good. And we'll do the same thing. slide this right onto it. Okay, so they're both locked in. Now I'm going to uh, get these ready. I'm going to get the other wires uh, prepared and then we can run them to place, zip tie them in place. And then I'm going to uh, tape all of these and just make sure that nothing's going to accidentally touch them and you know keep them as isolated as much as possible. So uh, let's jump into this real quick. and. I'm just going to rock and roll with it and uh, try and zoom in here so I can uh, give you a good perspective. Okay, so like we did before, uh, it's going to go right here. And how this is going to work is uh, I'm bringing the power up to the switch here. It's going to go back down and it's going to split back down from there. And then um, I'm splitting right off the battery with the uh, uh, ground. So. Let's go ahead and uh, you know finish wiring this thing up. Okay, so that's on. That looks good. Uh, now we just need to uh, go ahead and get the light. So we have the light power cord right here, and I'm not using this connector, so we're just going to. Alright, so now you just need to pay attention of you know, what you need to do. So the red needs to go to uh, this wire on the black. So I need a female connector here and I need a female connector there. Uh, both are going to have to be uh, thin walled so it can't be fully covered. That's okay because it's like for like on the uh, power of them. So let's go ahead and crimp these on real quick. It's only going to take a second. Okay, so this is going to go to the red wire here, coming from the switch. Okay, so that's on. The black is going to go to the ground here. Okay, so that's on. Now, essentially, the front headlight is completely done. We just need to work on the back tail light now. So let's uh, pull the bike around. 
let's make sure that we can get that all wired okay so we've got this wire prepared we got it all stripped up so let's go ahead and throw this in here make sure that's crimped tight so that is and this is going to be my ground going to the, or this is actually going to be my power going to the back. So let's go ahead and get that on there. Okay, so that's on. Now we just need to put the ground on. Alright, so now we have the ground prepared, so we'll go ahead and hook up the ground. Okay, so that's on. Alright, so what I want to do now, I actually wanted to tape all this up and I want to make sure that uh, nothing's going to touch each other and then short itself out. While we're up here, let's go ahead and do that. So as you can see, I already have the tail light uh, mounted. And I've got the wires. It's kind of hard to see, but they're sticking out in the back here. Let's see if I can just pick up this bike and turn it sideways a little bit. All right, so here's the wires right here sticking out. Um, the ground is the white wire, and the power is the purple wire, which is really hard to see. But, uh, yeah, that's not, that's not going to be a problem. So all we need to do is just get some small connectors on there. We're going to get this wire back here. Okay, so just one more connection to go, and then we'll test everything out here. Okay, we got it. Sorry, man. I know it was, it was hard to see, but uh, all right. So let's see if uh, see what we got here. Let's just turn on the power. Oh yeah, look at that, it came on. See what it looks like with the cover. Oh yeah, that looks great. I'm gonna be very visible. Let's tape these up, let's get it zip tied, get the zip tied snip, or you know, clean up the zip ties, and then let's take a sink for a Alright, so that's good. Now we can move up front. Let's make sure we we got to leave enough slack to pull the battery out here. So just to organize it, I'm, I'm going to throw a uh, zip tie just on these here, just to keep them down. All right, that that'll keep all the connections here, and uh, that's gonna, not going to cause any problems. So I can still take the battery out. I can change it. I can put it back. It's no problem. Um, you just have a little zip tie, so we're just going to snip off the zip ties. All right, now here's one thing we got to think about. We got to think about this battery bouncing out of here, so I do have a solution for that. I'm actually just going to use Velcro, and I can use the existing holes and just slide it straight through, and that's going to hold it in place with no issues. I just got a regular roll of Velcro and I believe I got this from Home Depot. So let's pull the battery out first. You can see here's the strap. Here's the strap right here. You just take the Velcro off, you slide the battery out, and you're good to go. All right, everybody, so there you have it. This was a pretty simple build. I got the Light at Harbor Freight. I'm using a Ryobi lithium ion battery. It's a four amp hour. You can use any size you want. You just gotta get that adapter on top. I was able to weld the switch on, we got a tail light on, we got everything wired, and it's independent of the engine. So you don't have to worry about the engine bogging, producing power, you know, you don't have to worry about <clears throat> trying to grab power from it e either. So it's completely independent. You can change the batteries out, so and it's so much better 
than going out and getting a, uh, a typical small, you know, 12 volt, 12 amp hour or 6 amp hour battery, something like that, that you would have to hook up to a tender. You have these batteries, you know you got them. You can do this with Milwaukee, you can do it with DeWalt, you can do it with really anything. As long as you have that power adapter, you can do it with the 12 volt tools, you can do it with the 18 volt tools. It, uh, the power limits are 12 to 24, so you the 18s really, it's not bothering anything, it works great. So, as you can see, the light works fantastic, and it, it travels a very far and I was able to do this, you know, a little bit of craftsmanship, a little bit of uh, trial and error, as you saw. But it was, uh, I believe, under 50 bucks. I was able to get this light set up. And it's so much better than bolting a light to the bottom of the tree. You know, I got it welded to the top of the tree, and that actually helps this handlebar stabilize a little bit, too. Um, so I think the only thing left to do is let's take this thing for a test drive and, and let's really work it out. Hey, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, please hit the like button, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.